It's winter time in Florida and it's freezing outside. So I decided to cook chicken and dumplings, one of my husband's favorites. In this video, I will share to you one of the five love languages that I've learned and its acts of service. I think one of the simplest ways to show your love to your spouse is through cooking. After all, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. When trying to discover what pleases your partner, it begins to getting to know your spouse better and better through observation and communication as you spend time together. Learning the love language of acts of service will require some of us to re-examine our stereotypes of the role of husbands and wives. This have changed over the last several decades but models from our past can linger, and different cultures have different expectations of the right way things are done in marriage. If your spouse's love language is acts of service, then actions speak louder than words. Many acts of service will involve cooking a delicious meal to your spouse, Household chores, but not all. That could be done through help fold the laundry, unload the dishwasher, or just fix what's broken in the house. It takes time trying to figure it out your primary love language. When trying to figure it out, it helps to look back over your marriage and ask, what have I most often requested of my spouse? Whatever you have most requested is probably in keeping with your primary love language. Those requests have probably been interpreted by your spouse as nagging, but in fact, they have been your efforts to secure emotional love from your spouse. Another way to discover your primary love language is to examine what you do or say to express love to your spouse. Chances are, what you're doing for her or him is what you wish she or he would do for you. If you're constantly doing acts of service for your spouse, perhaps, although not always, that is your love language. I think both my husband and I have act of service as the number one love language. Both him and I try to serve each other by him getting up early, cooking my breakfast. Me on the other hand prepare his lunch and water before he goes to work. And most of the time my husband helps me fold clothes and unload the dishwasher. And I think our second love language 
is quality time. Two kinds of people may have difficulty discovering their primary love language. It takes time, effort, and patience. Do you think by now you have a good sense of what your spouse's love language is? How about them for you? What more could you do to explore this? Love is a choice, and either partner can start the process today. A key thought here is the idea of speaking our mate's love language, whether or not it's natural for us. Why is this so fundamental to a healthy marriage? Why do you think that five love languages has been so successful? Do the love languages work in other cultures? Why is this important to incorporate it in our marriage? We are called by God to lovingly serve one another. Being married gives you the chance to serve another person every day in ways both large and small. Marriage is not 50-50. You both have to be willing to give more. Don't just give 50%. Being content to pull your half of the load and worrying about whether your partner is pulling their half Give 100% of your effort. So serve one another humbly and willingly. Let your actions flow from the love in your heart. Whatever you do, don't keep score. Marriage is not a contest in which you and your spouse are pitted against one another. Rather, God has placed you on the same team so you can strive together toward victory. Remember, when it comes to serving each other, be loving. Go the extra mile. <laughs>